Adobe Photoshop is a registered trademark of Adobe Systems Incorporated. I am in no way affiliated with Adobe. Hi, I'm Steve Anthony. I'm a photographer and digital retouching artist here in New York City. In this clip, we're going to talk about how to airbrush photos in Photoshop. Now, I've already opened a picture here that needs a lot of airbrushing. <laughs> Not really true. Uh, depending on what you wish to airbrush in your picture, let's get a little, a little bit more of a close-up view. This will give you an idea of what we might want to airbrush. Well, perhaps I'd want to get rid of some of those lines into the eyes. I want to grab my color picker tool, an eyedropper is what it is. And so I, this is how I do it. There's other people do it different ways. You can try for yourself. Select a color that's a lighter color that's adjacent to the area that you want to airbrush. And then select your brush tool. And I would recommend using a soft-edged brush. In this case, let's say, let's go with the 17-pixel uh, brush. And let's go with a 9-pixel brush that gives us a little bit smaller area to work with. And I would, say, I would set the hardness, we'll leave it at zero. Uh, you can also adjust your opacity levels. You'd want to adjust them down. And your flow level also pretty well down. In this case I'm using 25 and 10 percent approximately. That way when you start airbrushing it's not quite 100% intense. Now as you can see the visible effects of the years that I've lived are becoming <laughs> less apparent. You can even select a lighter color and continue in the same in the same vein. And you might want to try that on the other eye and see if it works as well over there. Yeah, get rid of some of these wrinkles. And this is in this most fundamental form. Airbrushing with Photoshop. I'm Steve Anthony.